Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Alright, so Trackies, this is the final update for results for Friday the 12th of January 2024 on the indoor collegiate scene. Now, of course, we do have professional athletes that are taking part as well. Now, Trackies, come tomorrow, Saturday. Well, this is probably when I'm going to drop the video, Saturday morning. But come Saturday as well, there are going to be a lot of updates happening in doors overseas and also outdoors locally here so there's going to be a lot going on so please look out for those videos now picking things up check is with the clemson invitational i'm going to start with the woman 60 meters now in this we had daniel williams she started her season with the woman 60 meters now this is not her first time doing this running the 60 meters first to open her season however i did find it interesting that our athletes are taking the initiative to work on their early speed right heading into the season especially the hurdlers we saw akira nugent also starting her season with the 60 meters so i'm interested to see the times that they'll be able to drop whether you know get much faster or remain consistent over the 60 meter hurdles and especially when we head outdoors to the clearly 100 meter hurdles but kicking things off again the woman 60 meters daniel williams placed second in this race taking the win was kayla jackson she ran 7.196 seconds in second place Danielle 7.25 seconds and Autumn Wilson ran 7.28 seconds to take that third place spot now track is also sticking with the men's 60 meters from the Clemson Invitational. In here, we had Jelani Garden. Yes, now Jelani Garden is our fresh man, Chuckies. And I'm so excited because this is the rebirth of male sprinting. Not just locally, because we see the likes of Kishay and Thompson coming through. Oblique has been around for a few years. Akeem Blake has also been around for a few years as well. But we haven't been seeing our males making a dent on that collegiate circuit not anymore we are ready we are back and we're here with a bang so jelani walker big big run from him track is his first 60 meters well i do believe this is his first 60 meters of the season but i'm not gonna lie first one big run i can't wait to see the rest now taking the win running 6.60 seconds as i said big big run for jelani garden a freshman track is i am so excited from him straight out of jamaica representing georgia now in second place was jamal miller he ran 6.64 seconds and in third place cameron rose he ran 6.65 seconds so track is look out for delani garden he's coming he's here and he's here to represent himself and of course jamaica and i'm super duper excited all right so moving on track is we're over at the virginia tech invitational track is and i'm gonna kick things off with the women's 60 meters here now we had kayla bonnick um representing jamaica here now taking the window was reese webster she ran 7.37 seconds to take the win in second place was ania matthews she ran 7.49 seconds for a second and kayla bonnick or jamaican 7.51 seconds takes that third spot now moving on track is sticking with the virginia tech invitational we're going to be touching the women's 300 meters and we also had kayla bonnick here representing as well showing really good range now taking the win was tahelia fairman she ran 37.75 seconds now in second place was kaya holloway she ran 38.79 seconds and dinitra hester ran 39.5 zero three seconds that was your top three now in 10th place was kayla bonnick and she ran 40.93 seconds just a quick note kayla bonnick entered the sixth section and she took that section so she won that section however overall she was 10th based on times all right so track is moving on back over to the arkansas invitational just wrapping up the results there as well 
Now, kicking things off with the men's high jump. We haven't really been seeing our field event star athletes turn out just yet, you know, the Jadon Hibberts, so forth. But still, you know, Romain Beckford definitely turned up here, so I'm excited for him as well. So Romain Beckford walked away with the wind scaling 2.19 meters. In second place was Case O'Reilly. He scaled 2.16 meters and Caleb Snowden in third place scaled 2.11 meters. Now Chuck is moving on over to the men's shot put. We had Corey Jones representing Jamaica here and he walked away with the wind throwing 17.28 meters. In second place was Desmond Fraser. He threw 15.85 meters and in third place was Aidan Patton. He threw 15.7 six meters all right now track is moving on over to the women's 200 meters we had joan reed line up here now joan reed also did take part in the 60 meters so she doubled here and great account for herself in both events i love seeing her long frame in that 60 meters i can't wait to see when she gets outdoors you know she has more room to unfurl those legs but for now you know good good attempt that i'm seeing from her opening up her season and she did so impressively as well in the 200 meters taking the win was rosie effion running 23.17 seconds in second place was joan reed running 23.44 seconds and in third place was rachel glenn she ran 23.52 seconds now i'm not gonna lie i was definitely looking out for joan reed last season to have a really good breakout year it didn't really materialize towards the end of the season however considering how strong this season opener is for her i'm expecting great things on the cards for joan reed this 2024 season our track is so the final event that i'm going to be covering in this video this is the women's 800 meters now surprisingly nikisha price is over here representing in the 800 meters now i do not think she will be moving up in distance at all i do however believe this this is probably strength work for her 400 meters nikisha price had a phenomenal season especially on the back end of her season coming to the jamaican national championships walking away with 400 meter glory and going to represent jamaica at the world championships where she famously infamously blocked out the rest of the world track is on her second leg to make sure jamaica was in good position to walk away with a silver medal in that four by four for me track is that was one of my most favorite moments from the world championships in 2023 but with that said track is she kicked things off with the 800 meters however she did not walk away with the win here taking the win was safia malone she ran two minutes zero two point seven zero seconds in second was raven rogers two minutes zero three point two three seconds and in third was Amber Annin, 2 minutes 05.05 seconds. Now, all the way down in eighth was Nikisha Price, 2 minutes 12.16 seconds. Now, she came up in the fourth section and she placed fourth in that section as well. However, that will amount to eighth overall once the times were tallied. All right, so track is so that is it for the updates for Friday. I hope I did get most, if not all, of the Jamaicans here, track is. I always tell you, I eyeball them so I do apologize if I missed any of the Jamaicans I just tried to remember them based on who I remember from champs who was there the year before kind of thing you know what I mean so if I miss any again I do apologize but stay tuned as well for additional updates tomorrow there are going to be a lot of updates so make sure you're on the bubble on TXT track time waiting for the videos to drop anyway sound off in the comment section below like the video and subscribe I'll catch you in the next one bye